This question is from 2017 AMC 12A and it is problem 5. Ooh, I can change the color. Okay. At a gathering of 30 people, there are 20 people who know each other and 10 people who does not know anyone. People who know each other is going to hug and people who do not know each other is going to shake hands. How many handshakes occur? So they are not asking us for how many hugs. They are not asking for how many hugs and handshakes combined. They are just asking for handshakes only. And it's always good to understand what you want to find in a problem. If you don't read the question right, the chance is you're not going to know which answer to pick or how to arrive at the answer. So the easier way of doing it is by looking at this from perspective of the people who do not know anyone. So we're going to choose the perspective of people who do not, who do not know anyone. And the reason I'm doing this is because these people are going to have to handshake every single person in the room except themselves. Because, except himself or herself, I should specify, because for 20 people who know each other, they, each other, they are not going to shake hands. They are only going to shake hands with 10 people. But looking at it from this perspective, it's not going to to count the number of handshakes occurring within the group of 10 people. So we want to see it from the perspective of 10. And what do we do now? Well, for each of them, for each of them, they are going to have to handshake every single one of these 20 people. For each of them, they are going to have to handshake 20 people. So that's 200 handshakes to begin with. And they are going to have to handshake each other. So to handshake each other, we want to find a way to choose two people out of 10 people or 10 choose two. And this gets us 200 plus 10 times 9 over 2. And this thing is 45. So the answer, the answer is 245 or B. If you don't understand 10 choose 2, don't go away just yet. I'll explain it. And if you do understand what 10 choose 2 is, you know the answer, you understand the question, then you can stop the video here. But if you do not understand it, keep on watching and, I, and I'm going to explain. 10 choose 2, also written like this, is the number of ways to choose the second number to choose, in this case 2, 2 people from 10 people. And this thing is what we want because you have 10 people going on. And each handshake is same thing as group of two of them. So this group is going to handshake, this group is going to handshake, this group is going to handshake. So we want to find number of ways to pick a group of two people from 10 people. I should, I should actually specify, choose a group of, and by group, I mean you can switch the order and it's going to count as the same thing. And how we figure out 10 choose 2 is like this. Well, we want to pick two of them. The first person can be any of the 10 members. The second person, since you already picked one of them for the to be in the first position, you have nine choices now. So the answer seems to be 10 times nine. Why do you have to divide by two? Well, think of this as A, B, C, D, E, and so on. If A and B shake hands, you are, and B and A shake hands, I mean, but they're only shaking hands once, but doing 10 times two counts A, B, and B, A once each. So this is double counting. So to go, to reduce double, co double counting, the way to fix this is just by dividing by two to get 10 times nine over two. And 10 times nine over two is 90 over two or 45. So the answer is 200 plus 45 or 245. And once again, our answer is B.